Welcome back to Good Day Columbia. A very special Wild Wednesday. Yes, it's daytime, but we got to be in the education department. We're learning about trees this morning. It's Elma. And uh, the cool thing about the trees are not just about conservation and Dunder Mifflin stuff, but the actual relationship between the animals and trees and actually why they need each other. Exactly. And trees provide homes for animals. They provide food, mm -hmm. shelter, places to raise their young. And this is an unusual little animal to find in trees. It's actually a white tree frog. Its name is Java. And you can Java. see it's extra long toes that help it be able to stick or uh, climb, I should say, trees very high up. He's not going to bite me, is he? No, he won't bite you. You can feel that he's very, very smooth or slimy, and that's because this animal has to stay moist. Okay. Now, most people think of frogs being in water. This one's going to be in the trees. He so doesn't swim? He can swim, but he okay. still needs water. So where's he going to find the water in the trees? You tell he, me. He's got to find it from rain, rain that collects on leaves and also in crevices of trees. And there's also right. cup-shaped flowers where he actually can lay his eggs mm -hmm. and then um, the tadpoles will grow. And once they're adults, they'll actually climb out of those flowers. Now, does coloring help him also hide from predators because he can kind of blend with a tree? Definitely. And okay. this little tree frog actually can change. It can um, change colors a little bit. It can get okay. darker or lighter depending on its surroundings. Right now, he's in one of his darker colors. Sometimes they're a little bit more green. Right now, he's looking a little bit more gray coloration. Hey, buddy. So, yeah, his color is very important as well. And can he stick, like, if I stuck him on a wall, like one of those spiders you chuck against the wall? Would he... He, is, he can definitely grip onto things. Um, this is actually a traveling container for him. We'll mm -hmm. see if he'll allow me to unstick him from my hand. And then he might actually do a little bit. There you go. Yeah. A little bit of climbing for you guys to be able to see that he can use those sticky toes to hold on to um, any surface, including That's the awesome. trees. All right, now I know we have to do this, and you know how upset I am right now, but I understand there's a... I do. I have a snake friend here. This is Boa. Mm -hmm. Boa is a 20 or more year old boa constrictor, and Boa is over 8 feet long, and uh -huh. Boa definitely lives in trees. And you can definitely tell by yep. yeah, Boa's coloration. Yeah, he looks like a, looks like a big, big boa constrictor, he does. <laughs> here Holy we go. Holy sweet God. All right, this is Boa, uh -huh. and Boa is a boa constrictor. Um, you can see the coloration is that of a vine that you might find in the trees in the rainforest. Um, also, Boa's main predators, you can do it. I, don't I have know faith it. in you, Tyler. You can touch it. If my campers can touch this guy, you can touch him. Okay? These scales, uh -huh. even on its belly, help it climb. It actually acts like tread on mm -hmm. a tire and allows it to be able to climb or move oh, around a nice. uh, tree without falling. It he's also, staring at me right now. I'm not a tree, my friend. Is he going to bite me? No, no. He's actually just checking out his surroundings. He might smell the tree frog we just had out because that's one of his prey. He's also going to prey on birds, lizards, mm -hmm. and even bats. This bats. animal preys on any other either. animals like found in the trees. All right. We are uh, celebrating trees and con okay, conservation this morning here on a Wild Wednesday, a special daytime edition. Miss Elma, we've got uh, more coming back yes. in just a little bit. Can we put him away now? <laughs> we'll be, um, if you'd like. We'll be right back. <laughs>